I'm not going to mess up my bad man persona and you know, do that. Yeah, this is. This is a kicking. I get some kicking on my throat. <coughs> Alright. Mm. <laughs> Shout for the milk. Come make me vibe. Come make me chill. Come make me love and chat. Let's be your happy. Welcome to the second season of Hot Ones, the Caribbean edition. We are in Jamaica for the show with the hot questions and even hotter wings. I am your host, Brush One the Road Marshall, the host of the hottest show on television right now. In studio with us today is the legendary Tanya Stevens. She's a veteran reggae artist whose lyrics have inspired and motivated generations, addressing widespread controversial topics with songs like Take Him Back and Other Cheek. The singer has eight studio albums and endless hit singles to her name. Tanya's 2004 album, Gangsta Blues, marked a turning point in her career, further diversifying her fan base and increasing Jamaican legend's autonomy over her intellectual property. Here today to impart some wisdom and grace is Tanya Stevens. Welcome to the show, Tanya. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good? A good feeling about this. All right. I like how that sounds so we can... This is not... We can just run through this quick and fast. Quick and fast. It's okay like breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to kick things off right now and even now wait since it's breakfast. Um, hot pepper sauce from Grace with a little bit of garlic because you don't know as Jamaican well. So if you have a little garlic in our thing, a right? little flavor. Easy, easy. See it? You need even have. Yeah? Alright, that's how we ease into the wing, right? I've seen you perform live many, many times, and one of the things I always admire is how you sound exactly the same when you are perform. It's a beautiful thing to admire, it's a beautiful thing to see. How do you feel knowing that your music transcends generations? You know, my grandmother love you, my mother love you, me love you, and my kids, them, them have to go love you too. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm really very grateful because when we make music, we make the best music that we can possibly make, right? We think it's the best music that's ever been made, but nobody has to agree with that. And the fact that so many people like my music is something that is very humbling, and I'm very grateful for it. That I've lasted so long is a surprise to me. But a pleasant surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I really like it. But there's a flip side to that also because a lot of the topics that you address in the music from long time, we still have see those, those problems today, you know? We just a beg a little help, Prime Minister. You know, we're not this year. We see a lot of that garden, jungle. Them still don't get the little water with the Lego down our garden and jungle yet, right? So what about that? Like, what do you feel when you see these things still plague in the, the community and society today? I feel disappointed. The thing is, I, I'm i not the author of these conversations, you know, I join the conversations because there have been many people before me um, in different fields, in different forums, expressing these same sentiments that I express. Um, what disappoints me is the fact that the conversation isn't progressing. So it's still a punchline in a song. You know, you have a lot of artists come out and them sing love, but we don't see it in action. And that is disappointing to me because I really believe the things I want to say. I mean, say the things I want to believe. I don't really, not really make music. I make a conversation and put it on a beat. So it's disappointing. But I mean, I've seen some progress. I'm impatient, but I have learned to curb that. And, and just wait until people reach which part I think I reach. Yeah. All right. That, 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 that's fair. And I, and, and I like that. Um, for me, honestly, I feel like. We're not going to get the attention where we need on certain topics until the problems of the poor come kick down them door. Now let's move on to um, Smart Choice Farms Unplug Scotch Bonnet Pepper Sauce. This one just say hot. You know, a little warm up like tea. Warm up the inside. Alright. Alright. Mm-hmm. Holy for chicken, I feel like a next bite tonight to feel. Right? Now, um, mm. the Grammys, right? Grammy um, being considered for a Grammy nomination, and we're confident that we're going to go all the way. But how much weight does that hold for Tanya? 
is it something that you get excited about? Is it something where you yeah, say, yeah, man, about that time, you know, show the people them something, like, you know, how much weight does a Grammy nomination or a Grammy would bring to you? All right, so I'm not really an awards kind of person. Um, this is not to say that I don't have respect for award shows or anything like that. It's, I'm not an award kind of person. Um, so I've never actually submitted a body of work to the Grammy, team, uh, the Grammy committee before. This is the first one, this my latest album, Some Kind of Madness. And the reason I did is because it's kind of hypocritical and it kind of undermines my credibility to speak to things from the outside without ever getting in. And I'm all about credibility. If I want the children to have a different example, then I have to give them one. And unless I'm in a position which is visible to them, they will not see this example that I come with. No matter how good your music be, you know, if nobody not listen to it, you may as well never make it. Yeah. So men are the self-righteous kind of person who make a song and think the five people who listen to it is enough to make it the greatest song we we'll ever make. If it don't have an audience, then it never say nothing, you know? So my music should exist in exclusion of every other kind of music, because me like foolishness. Yeah. Believe me, me like the pop, and me like the broke out, and me like, me like them girls that show things, them. me love them very much. Me want all the man, we love the badness. So, me not say it not for exist. I'm saying multiple things can coexist peacefully. And in order for me to present an alternative, may have to be visible. So this is what the Grammy submission means to me. Just being able to say, see them, something else can do it too. So my big up Spice, big up Shensia, big up Skeng, big up Massacre, big up all of the picnic them, and say, the big people them and the picnic can coexist peacefully. We have different audiences too. And instead of looking at what they do, we just look for what we do and present that to our audience. You know, and this is what the external validation means to me. Other people need to see it, so may, may, may welcome it. Let's move on to the Scotch Boys, Scotch Bunny Pepper Sauce. We're getting into it. Mild badness. Mild badness. <laughs> <laughs> now, people always want to know when artists are singing about personal experiences as compared to probably a friend go through something and you make a song from it, right? So, me I go and I did choose the songs for this list. Um, I want to know. I'm gonna I'm gonna call out some song titles of yours, and I want to know which ones are personal experiences, and which one is just a topic. All right, let's pick a topic. So the first one is these streets. Personal or is just a topic? It's. It's not my personal experience, but it's personal to me. Because I observe a lot of people who are really close to me. Go through similar situ situations, you know. Man are also. And man out the street to build cred. But now build house, now build home. And it kind of was, it's a general call to action for man them. And big up the man them because they respond. Love them for that. Every one of them say, yo, you get it, you get it, all right, man, come on. But it wasn't really my personal experience. All right. Next and one. I don't know if I buy a sour, but I love a flavor. <laughs> <laughs> the great scotch boys. <laughs> Next one is Take Him Back. Take Him Back. He can find him to use him for the land. For the land? Wow. I don't usually like to tell people which one of my experience, but that actually was. I have an experience with one, one mate, well, I think I made it a mate. <laughs> Who just decided that we were going to become close. And she had a call and do all kinds of things, you know? And we find them something that will be very juvenile. To be honest with you, I don't really care what my status is in our man life. I don't, I don't go to them something. Like war with our man, but it's so unbecoming. It's so beneath me. I'm too cute for that. <laughs> and so ladies don't bother with the search <laughs> phone and the call, mm -mm. you know. Let that man cheat in peace. I mean, let us both cheat in peace. I mean. I'm <laughs> <laughs> too busy with my life to care about a man's life. But, yeah. you know, calling her and saying, come take him back was a way to get rid of her. Yeah. Yeah. 
I swear. One more. One more, more I know. Um, what's your story? <laughs> I don't know what that, well, my exercise a lot of poetic license. So this was a story where my, actually somebody we made a date. We went to, I think we were in Miami. And him left out same ago, Miami Beach with some friends. And he was just going to link up and come back. I remember, I don't come from Miami, I know nobody, I mean, I don't have no base there. I mean, I have no phone there, no nothing. I can't leave the hotel in case he leave. I'm cheap, I don't have no phone. I mean, I see him come back 10, 11, 12, what? So it me, was actually me call police, quarter to me three? Call, what? I call everywhere, man. I call emergency room. <laughs> Run up hotel bill, I call, and then he just throw in like nothing ever. I'm hating. <laughs> This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by the Jamaica Tourist Board. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by Maggie. Look, we jump into the next sauce right now. Maggie pepper sauce, hot, hot and spicy. <laughs> Um, I use it when I do my fried rice. It have a buzz, man. Something nice about it. Yeah, I'm not to read ingredients, so I don't know what. But I know something like that, what I like. Alright? Now, what keeps Tanya doing music? What keeps you in the studio? What keeps that drive alive? You know, that fire that we see when you're on stage performing? Mmm, this way I said, a flavor, a nice yeah, flavor. Man. Um. All right, I'm going to start with a little chewed tickle. <laughs> <laughs> what keeps me doing music? Well, it's an excellent platform for share ideas and really and truly. I don't really think of myself as one singer. Draft the water. Remember, the, the giant <coughs> bread helps. Uh, mm, the giant bread helps a I lot too. I soon reach the bread, man. <laughs> Big up national. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, I don't think of myself as one singer. I'm not even my favorite vocalist. But I may have conversations and the music are a great platform to share them. So, if I if don't sing, I can still produce, write. I especially love write. Um, I can still do music is more than a job. The moment you actually, if you're a real artist, and when I say real artist, I don't mean by other people's superficial standards, I mean by people who are really into the art. Yeah. Um, it becomes an addiction. It, the moment you get into it, it is no longer a job. Most of you would do it if you never pay away. Nobody feel like that means you can grow the negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have other people who don't feel like us. Yeah. But the truth is, most of you really would do it because you love it. Yeah. And when we wake up in the morning, the first thing, we, we, we get up in the middle of sleep. We get inspired. My, my recording equipment in my bedroom. And in the middle of the night, I have an idea. I dream. I get up and I put on something. But I still do it. And I can't see myself ever not doing it. Publicly, I don't know. Because it, it oversteps every bone. But definitely, I got always involved in the music. I could see what I'm going for this one right now. Can I see a man from the front side with fire come out? Oh, jeez. Right. I'm going to try it, you know. Here goes nothing. All right. Now, in a recent Instagram live, you say you're not about certain topics publicly because, you know, the public as a whole lacks emotional intelligence. Intelligence, right? Um, with social media today, everybody feel like they're right. Everybody have a voice and everybody feel like their voice is the most powerful voice. Their opinion is the right one as opposed to someone else's, right? Um, but you're still heavy on social media, which I like, by the way. How you maneuver the social media space? See, like how I maneuver life out the road. I don't see the difference between the two spaces, really. For real? I mean, no, I don't. 
Um, on the road is shared space. Online is shared space. It's both public. On the road, when me walk out, I may have on my wig looking however it look. And my clothes, whichever brand or brandless. It doesn't become your business just because I stand up out the road. I shared space, but my personal space remains. It's like a bubble with around me all the time. My personal space never moves from around me. So I don't care what you tell me on the road. I don't care what you tell me online either. Oh, the same principles which apply physically, in person. Just transfer them go online and you're good. Mind your business. You see something you don't like? Do you walk up into somebody's house and say, I don't like the curtain and change it? No. So you don't go past somebody's post and say, I don't like the food. Eh? Why you need? And then them say, we need a dislike button. For what? The fact that you never click like suggests to me that you don't like it. Yeah, you just go It goes without saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the yeah. need to be seen as somebody who opposes is a sickness again. I think one of the things um, with Outer of Road and online though, um, certain things will, will happen to you if you say certain things. Right? Online, people feel like they're safe because they're behind a screen. Right? But out of road, you said that you know, so it's an instant reaction. Yeah, but all right, men are an instant reaction kind of person. Men not really reactive. Sometimes it might look no way there, but trust me, I'm deliberate. Men are a responsive kind of person. So I go think everything through. One anonymous person will come and say something random to me. Really not worth messing up my business. I don't care about reputation, but my business. Um, it's not worth messing up my revenue streams. And I don't know all of them in a for them public eye. So if I go turn off people I do business with, then I go, it's not worth it to me. Who do the cooking? You do the cooking or you have a chef? And what, what are the things that you would put on a breakfast plate for yourself? Well, definitely I know me do the cooking. <laughs> My cooking is a hit or miss. And that's the next thing to me. I don't feel like I can cook good for me a girl. I see them say it all the while. I hurt my feelings. Me cooking is not my thing. I'd rather build your table than cook your meal and put it on the table. Woodwork my thing there. So, <laughs> now that we stop it, I'm not going to cook. Yeah. But I'm very good at eating. Take that over you want to take it. <laughs> right. I have a very fine taste, bud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, breakfast. Why anything to get up and feel for that meat? You know? If me feel for ice cream for breakfast or that meat, if me feel for chocolate for breakfast or that meat, if me feel for dumpling and yam or that me eat, if me feel for callaloo, chicken, oxtail, it, me love leftovers. Love. Chef? Me not a chef. What me I do with chef? Me grew up a country, one room, me come out and me not a chef. Waste some money. Leftovers, that's breakfast. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by CB Chicken, a better tasting chicken. Temple Networks and the Jamaica Tourist Board presents the Hot Ones Caribbean Win a Trip promotion, where you could win a trip for two to Jamaica, stay at an all-inclusive resort courtesy of Go Jamaica Travel, and experience delicious Jamaican dishes through a guided cuisine tour. All you need to do to enter is lock in to Hot Ones Caribbean Jamaica. Download the Temple Plus app from your Play Store or go to visitjamaica.com to sign up for your chance to win. Conditions apply. No purchase necessary. Brought to you by Tempo Networks, Jamaica Tourist Board, Go Jamaica Travel, and Food Tour. You're a hot one, yeah, yeah. All right, as we say right next to each other, we'll get right to the next sauce. This is Uncle Ducky's right now. Things. The bread just set it off right. Yeah. <laughs> we have a reoccurring segment that we call Explain the Gram. We basically dive into our guests. Um, no, man, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best thing we ever do if you come hungry. <laughs> Breakfast is <laughs> served. <laughs> yeah, man. Right. Feel so, like you're talking with more respect when you're done. <laughs> I forget to you. I forget to you. No, no, no. Out of everybody who I've interviewed so far, I forget to you. Because you're not shying away. You're a bone alone, Mr. Wilago. I'm hungry. Yeah. 
All right, so this picture on your Instagram now, it's a UK magazine. Mm -hmm. um, just tell me a little bit more about how the cover came about. You know, what was that conversation like? What was that feeling like? So, the, the, the magazine is Black Echoes, the UK publication, and the cover um, was. Uh, well, I did an interview with them um, regarding the new album that I dropped. It was really nice. John, big up yourself. Um, it was a good conversation. I mean, really love that when we have, you know, you know, me I do this for like 32 years. So it gets a little bit boring. Me don't know about other artists, because artists tend for like pretty things up and make you look. Yeah. Me, not, me, not, me really not into that, me sorry. After a while, I get bored with me, because me can't escape me. Me then hear me 24 yeah. sevens, and sometimes I go up on autopilot, and me not go like, me not always engage. Because my brain can't do it. But that was a good conversation for Echoes. Um, it was different. I could not fall asleep within that interview. I had to stay awake and alert. And I actually was very interested. I mean, it stimulated because it pushed me, you know, and forced me to think and, and think critically. So I really love that. Smell serious. I guess what I want to know is, going into this album, are, are there any expectations of it, right? Or are we just creating art? Yes, we want it to be seen, but whatever happens, is it still a passion project? It is, does it still hold that value for you? Mm. Sorry, my like this. It's really nice. <laughs> Does it hold a passion for me? Yes. Um, this album came out of a space where I can't even define it correctly because I never have this before. See, the two years of uncertainty, it creates a lot of depression. I see everybody has funny grammar stunt and I go like, happy life, happy this, happy that. I'm not happy. Me either. I was very unhappy. Me too. Me in and out of depression because my entire life get turned upside down and me used to be in the road. I used to only see two people, the same two people every single day. My daughter and my nephew. In months out. Sometimes for all we, I think one time we had a lockdown for like 10 days or something. Jesus, me nearly mad. For wake up every morning from such a such a limited routine. It nearly killed me. And this is the space within which I started making the album. The album evolved a lot because we start out with pure depression. And then I said, I now put one collection of them here. I now yeah, save body this or... posterity to make this um, reflect me entirely when it's not true because I have happy moments too. I'm yeah. me, me, me lucky than most people. When I say lockdown, I actually had food and creature comforts. I have all of the subscription things. I can watch you know. You know, enough people don't have that. Enough people don't even have electricity to lock down with. Some people, if they may lock it down when I did 10 years well, I lock down in a one room, eight away. I mean, I don't mean one studio flat. Nothing so glamorous. One room. It means, say, when I said no gathering, we couldn't go out in a yard. Because of tenement. And if the, everybody were living in a one room, come out the door, big dance. Big dance. Yeah. Couldn't come out. So it did. Made it really depressed with the tone deafness and the tone dumbness of my fellow citizens when they preach from them pedestal and give out these, these plastic announcements when they say, Tanaya, Goya, Tanaya. These people have no yard. And that space I want to start creating, so the album really mean a lot to me because it, it took me out of that state of depression, of disbelief. Made I look for the whole of Jamaica and I disbelief with my mouth wide open for months. Like, this can't be my people. We're more loving than this. We're more thoughtful than this. We cannot be this insensitive. And that's the space the album come out of. Trying to find back my happy place, trying to, to, to remain the loving and caring and thoughtful person I am. I know I am. Despite what's going on around me. This is what happened with the album. It means a lot. This, I, I think this might be the most meaningful album I ever make. Because I can't believe me make this. You know, when I me, when me listen to the tracks on it and I hear myself, I talk with so much hope. I never feel the hope. 
I just have to dig deep in my bone marrow and go for them from. <laughs> so it really means a lot, you know? Hey guys, Greedy Girl Cooks here, and we're back with another episode of Heat in the Streets. And we're at Jenba Bar and Grill. And in true Hot Ones fashion, we're gonna have some hot sauce on wings. So let's go. So you know the show Hot Ones on YouTube? Yes, I've watched it a couple of times. Really? Okay. So there's Hot Ones Caribbean Jamaican edition and this is one of the sauces that they feature on the show so i've been going around to different restaurants and trying different hot sauces on different types of food so you know this is the first time we're trying it on wings oh lord what's your heat tolerance not very good you know really not good at all look here once this one is called scotch boys scotch bonnet pepper sauce Whew. The scotch factor looks a little high-ish. I'm gonna try it on my wings. Try, you have to pour yours, because I can't pour it for you. Because I will totally. Those are poops, guys. Look here, you see, anytime you see pepper seed, you have to be very wary. But it smells good. Let me try it on this one. Ooh, and these are garlic. You can definitely see the garlic in the wing. Wow. Mm. I like it. It's not too bad. And I'm not someone who likes spicy stuff. Mm -hmm. But personally, I like this. You could eat more of it? I could eat more of it. Let me try another bite. I love the vinegary kick it has to it. Mmm. And the wings are really good. Mm -hmm. Nice garlic flavor. Mm. It's a little bit sweet. Because I find with these hot sauces, you can't be going too spicy on the wings. And then, well, it depends on how much spice you love still. Because some people love extra peppery. Mm. This is good. It's not spicy. <laughs> like spur. <laughs> I just had some wings, okay? Another great meal had at Jenba. We had some honey garlic wings topped with Scotch Boys pepper sauce, and it was really good. Shout out to National Baking Company for sponsoring all the sauces on the show, which you can get at www.natbake.com. Bye. Welcome back to Hip Hop Origins. And this is Temple's Caribbean Dream, guys. No, moving. We are so far reach already. <laughs> it's fun, eh? I know. My favorite noise is tickle a clean. Hey, by the way, we got the chef. My yeah, we got the chef. <laughs> I love yeah, this I'm party. Down to the bone. <laughs> down to the bone. All right. The pepper them nice, though, you know. Don't get me wrong, you know. It's nice. I just have high tolerance. I did, did intimidate it. But now I feel comfortable. Like there are a few me definitely would have won. Yeah, because the way you were, you were talking off camera. I'm scared. Said, yeah. But it's scared. I'm glad I come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have the house at Tempo Sauce. You know, big up the Tempo Networks. Mm. Yeah. Now, the Jamaica Tourist Board works to position Destination Jamaica as one of the best in the region. Right? We do this for our local and international stakeholders. Jamaica Tourist Board has partnered with Tempo Network to showcase the best of Jamaica, lifestyle and culture. Right? Now, you travel around the world, 
profound for many different people. You're still here in Jamaica. More time you look, you see. After that man get him first, three hit song them him gone. You understand? We not see him back a yard. We can't see him at Uptown Monday. We can't see him run a Suzy's. You know? We can't see him run a Asylum. Although that no exists again, but I throw it in. Right? Now, what are some of the things that keep you connected to Jamaica and the Jamaican people and the culture? Mm -hmm. um, it's a personal preference. Mm -hmm. No, not nobody will left. Because I can say a million and one reasons to left. Mm -hmm. Jamaica beautiful. And as a destination, mm -hmm. I would recommend it any day. I have a bias, but also I um, can be neutral. And we can be objective and tell you pound for pound, dollar for dollar. Jamaica is actually a really good place to visit. Mm -hmm. Affordable. Only for points of interest. Mm -hmm. No fun, the culture. You don't even have to go on a point of interest. You just go hang out with any random group of Jamaicans on the corner. I promise you, you get your money hey, right. Because you know. we, we hilarious. We, mm -hmm. we comical. We, we are. I don't know. We, we're different. They're nice, man. All right. Little tips. Now, you took legal action against a female American rapper for plagiarism of your music. What was the outcome? And has anybody else tried you since then? Hmm. <laughs> Bit nice. <laughs> it's strong. You know, I'm going to bad man persona, you know, you not do that. <laughs> you know, bam, no, no, no's not around here. All right, the lawsuit. <laughs> it never went to court. It was settled out of court. Mm -hmm. It was about, let yeah, me tell you the truth for me. What's principle? This is my day, a principle. Mm -hmm. Because the artist album did bomb. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, try to make money. Off of. What money? Yeah, this is. It's about kicking. I get some kicking on my throat. See, I like people when I like come and say, you can relax the paper you're kicking on my throat <laughs> on your behalf. But you see the facts that we know each other. Mm -hmm. If you can find me, if you call me, if you come feature for your record. And you can tell me when you meet me, say. <coughs> <coughs> All right. <laughs> Try for the milk. Nestle Omega. Yeah. Big up yourself, Nestle. Yeah. If you can find me, and then we sit down and you tell me how oh, you rate me to them and you do that like a sicko fan or something. Yeah. You listen out trap title after title and tell me which album you have. This is before me, me did a gangster blues. Yeah. And you tell me, say, you sing out, you perform my song them to me in a studio. Yeah. And then you go sing me song. Are you not a member of the credit me? You know my name. Yeah. Credit me. I mean, this is not about money. This is about acknowledgement for work. This is intellectual property. You stole it. You know? And then let me tell you what it pissed me off after that. I sit down and watch an interview program where the same artist sit down there, a, 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 a brown nose, Lauren Hill, and I say, Oh, she's the greatest writer. I say, Why ain't you fair sitting? Because you take me for punk, don't. So I'm a, pub I'm, a, I'm a publishing agency, really. Deal with it, and this is a matter of business. P Caribbean people don't really understand that, and, and, and hip hop community don't understand that neither. Black people in general. And me not be racist when I say that. This is just an acknowledgement of a fact. It's observation. We don't really have too much respect for the business part of business. We believe so emotion them reign supreme over all things else, and that just not make no sense. So if you go out and you take my property, if you listen to it, and number one name in the last week, then. Three other people are equal claim to me, but I mean everybody have strength for you. know how much cussing people cuss me? But no girl, just listen to it two, two, two songs them side by side. It's a verse and a chorus. I don't want lying. One entire verse and chorus with the melody, everything. God good man girl, do better than that. Me say if she did ask me for write her song with her writing. With all ghost writing. Just out of the fact that you have so much respect for my writing, mm -hmm. that you can draw for me. Yeah. Me that ghost writing, me ghost write before. Me wouldn't did a claim. Because me that's it's alright, the respect did it for you. Yeah. But you tell me the respect out of your mouth and the first chance you get for sure it, you did not. The respect no real good for you, so. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I like that. And we, we appreciate the, all the honesty and all of the information and wisdom that you shared with us today. 
You know, me see you crack your bone the same way I enjoy your thing. I love to see it. You know, you've officially made it through all 10 sauces. You're a hot one now. You know, you get this stamp you can't call Fred. Yo, Frederick! Do it, you know? Right? So tell us what's next, what we should look out for. Well, if we go search right now, we'll if we follow, we'll if we subscribe to, we'll if we comment on, tell us everything we are going right now. We, well, the things that you can't tell, look, I'm sure you're certain <laughs> things where yeah. you can't comment on. Some things are fit. All right. Right now, I have an album out. It's called Some Kind of Madness. Um, 20 tracks, which is some kind of madness in and of itself. Um, it's distributed, recorded, um, um, produced, and distributed by Tad's Records. On all of the streaming platforms, and I big up the pepper sauce, I me, me feel, me feel warm, me have a glow. Yeah. Um, check me out on Instagram, it's I am Tanya Stevens. On TikTok, it's I am Tanya Stevens. On Twitter, I will be back on Twitter now, it's Tanya underscore Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook, it's just Tanya Stevens. And the ones with the blue tick are the ones me have to go get, me, me, me eat the lemon. <laughs> Hot One family, I am Fresh on the Road Marshall and this was another episode of Hot One's Caribbean Edition. Until next time, keep it hot. Eh? Can I go with a shot of whiskey? Right now. Can we get a shot of whiskey on set? Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> hey, early man, I'm going to start drinking in the afternoon. Afternoon? No, but afternoon, you know, man. <laughs> Probably about to 12, you know. Okay. How what time afternoon start? After. No. Uh, oh, afternoon. <laughs> I went there, I'm going to one place and you know, I think it was like 12 or 1 or something like that. So I'm going to tell the lady afternoon. She, I said, sir, it is not afternoon. And, and she and she cared that much. Me, I said, she said good morning all night. night. If you just get up a morning like, for me. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, why? Like, even if it's not afternoon, just take the afternoon exactly. and I say, you she know. She could have said good morning. Yeah. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by the Jamaica Tourist Board. Like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit that bell to get notifications for more things tempo.